Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what I want to show you is how you can set up all the worksheets at the bottom and to be visible at the same time. So down the bottom, I have, you can see down here, I've got four sheets. Okay, John Brown, Pori Doherty, Mary Cunningham, and my summary sheet. I've also got an instructions one, but I just want to leave that for the time being. So we need to set up what's called four windows. So the first thing we do is we come up here to view. And then I click over here on new window. Now, just as you, when I click on new window, nothing happens. Okay. So I'm going to click on new window and you can see nothing's happened. It just hops out of that. But what I do want you to notice is that up here, beside the linking worksheets, I now have the number two, which means I have two windows. Okay. But I want four windows because I want one for each of my salespeople down here. And also one for the summary as well. Because okay. the idea I want to do is basically take the you know travel expenses for each of these um, salespeople and in my summary sheet, add it all up together. But that will be in the next part of the blog post. So I come back up here to view. And I just do the same thing again. OK, so I just come over here and I click on new window. OK, new window. Okay. Now, if you look up here, you can see the number four up here. Sorry, number three. All right. Now, um, I do remember once a poor gentleman in my class, because he saw nothing happen happening, okay, um, I think he clicked on this, so we ended up with 40 windows open. Yeah, you don't need that. Okay, so just go to view again. Uh, I'm going to go up here to new window, do it one more time. Now I have my four windows. So again, I can kind of look up here. There's my four windows. And then I come back over here to view. And now what I want to do is see the four of them on the screen at the same time. So this time I go to Arrange All. And what I do is I choose Tiled because I like Tiled. But you need to make sure you put a tick in that box that says Windows of Active Workbook. Because if you don't, every single um, you know, file you've opened, all the Excel files you've opened will appear on the screen. And I don't want that. I just want to see these ones. And then I click OK. And then the last step then is I've got John Brown here, which is fine. And then when I come over here to this one, it's still John Brown. So what I need to do is I now need to click on Parik Doherty, because that's the one I want to see. And then I come down to this one. Let me go up to this one again. This one here, still John Brown. Go to Mary Cunningham, click on that one. And then the last one here down here is that I can't see Mary Cunningham. So what I can do is if I come here to the corner, that one, and just do a little right click. See there, I can click on summary and then click OK. All right. So I now basically have the four of them ready to go. Okay. So that's what we're going to cover in the next part of the blog entry. OK. Mind yourself and take care. Bye.